This week in science, we're online and we're talking about drugs. Now, almost every culture on Earth has a long history of psychoactive substance use. Everything from caffeine to alcohol to LSD. But this drug isn't a chemical. It's a sound. This is an example of a binaural beat. And don't worry, unless you're wearing headphones and listening to long stretches of it, this won't affect you in any way. While it sounds like your typical spa music, the gimmick here is that the tone coming out of one speaker is at a slightly higher frequency than the other. And your brain perceives the difference between those frequencies as a third tone, and that's the binaural beat. It's a kind of auditory illusion, and in theory, different frequencies will match up with different brain waves and induce different mental states. Some are meant for concentration. Others are supposed to help you sleep. And this one is for getting high. In the most recent global drug survey of over 30,000 people across 22 countries, about 5% reported experimenting with binaural beats sometime in the last year. And among that group, about 1 in 10 said they did it purely for the high, either using the beat by itself or in tandem with a more conventional drug like cannabis. These tracks are all over platforms like YouTube, Spotify, and the Apple App Store. And some are definitely catering to the drug crowd. So the big question is, do binaural beats actually work? And in short, the science isn't in yet. There have been multiple studies, some of which suggest binaural beats can help with anxiety and relaxation. But the research tends to be limited in scope, and the various conclusions often contradict one another. We also don't know if listening to these tracks carries any negative side effects over the long term, but based on what we know so far, the overall risk is considered to be low. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.